All right, guys, the United States government just came out with a statement regarding cryptocurrency, and it ain't good. It ain't good. So let me go ahead and play, it, guys. I'm going to give you all my thoughts. Without proper oversight, uh, cryptocurrencies, they, uh, it risks harming everyday Americans. So this is something that uh, clearly we monitor and, and uh, that we see as an important, uh, important issue. But the most re recent <clears throat> new f news further underscores uh, these concerns and highlights why uh, prudent regulation of cryptocurrencies is indeed needed. Uh, the White House, along with the relevant agencies, will, again, closely monitor uh, the situation as as it develops. All right, guys. So, you know, they're calling for regulation on the industry due to what happened with the FTX collapse, which again, guys, that was shocking even to me. I never thought FTX would crash. Um, I keep a lot of my crypto on Coinbase and y'all, I'm just being honest what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be getting, uh, I got a Ledger Nano. This is a hardware wallet. Guys, if you put your crypto on these hardware wallets, Essentially, it's stored on a blockchain, the most secure computing network, the Bitcoin network. Um, so I'm going to be moving a lot of my crypto onto a hardware wallet. I mean, this is just nuts, guys. And now let's get into my thoughts on the regulation. Um, first, let's go ahead coin market cap. Let's see what the market, what they're doing with this news. And really, guys, the market, you know, maybe it just hasn't fully reacted to this news yet. But Ethereum up 8%, Bitcoin up, you know, almost 4%. And, you know, Cardano up 6%. So why do I think that is? Well, understand, guys, you know, for big, big institutional investors, they, they want regulation. They, they, they actually can't invest until regulation is put forth because they have stakeholders. You know, they have clients whose assets they're investing. So the more regulation that is, that is implemented, the safer these assets will be and the less risky it is to institutions. Now, the problem with regulation is how strict will the regulation be? And it, will it be common sense regulation? Will it be regulation that actually helps the industry, not hurts it? Now, again, guys, what am I doing in this situation? I am going to be moving a lot of my crypto into a Ledger Nano. I'm still going to be, I'm going to be dollar cost average and still into these markets because guys, it, it's already figured out. I mean, stuff like this, they're just trying to lower the price. They're lowering the price because the big money still hasn't fully got here yet. And again, guys, I'm going to show you the World Economic Forum. This, the World Economic Forum, guys, every corporation, just about every corporation in America is a member of the World Economic Forum. Every sitting president, uh, you know, every, just about every major country has a representative that goes to the World Economic Forum. So this is where the policy is really made, guys. And look, this is straight off their website. Why decentralized finance is a leapfrog technology for the 1.1 billion people who are unbanked. Um, how Web3 internet design could lead to a more sustainable world. You know, it's all about sustainable and green energy. So they published this white paper on crypto, guys. And, you know, here's the ones they're talking about. As always, not financial advice. I'm not telling y'all to buy these cryptos, but... When every world leader is going to an event where these are the projects being talked about, yeah, I'm going to invest in them. You know, it's not, it's pretty much common sense, guys. Algorand, Cardano, Celo, XRP, Solana, Stellar. I know y'all hear me talk about these a lot on the channel, but I think this stuff's kind of figured out, guys. And and again, regarding the regulation, they're not going to ban it. I told y'all they can't ban it. I mean, check it out, guys. Bitcoin Magazine, oil and gas giant Shell signs two-year sponsorship with Bitcoin Magazine. So Shell, one of the largest oil companies in the world, just signed a deal with Bitcoin Magazine. You don't think they know where the regulation's going? Look from the World Economic Forum, guys. New Crypto Sustainability Coalition to investigate potential of Web3 technology in fighting climate change, shaping the future of technology, governments, blockchain, and digital assets. So again, guys, using Web3 to technology to fight climate change and you're seeing shell is partnering with bitcoin magazine and is going to be a speaker at the bitcoin conference guys you know what happens at shell and oil and gas refineries guys i'm not an expert on petroleum or, or oil and gas engineering but it's common it's common sense stuff there's a flare-off there's a flare-off from industries because it's cheaper for them to burn off excess product than to store it or to transport it. So when they flare it off, that's just wasted energy. That's just wasted energy. So what Bitcoin mining companies are doing, they're partnering 
I guess they're probably leasing uh they're leasing space from Shell or they leasing uh land from these oil companies and they're probably not paying them in Bitcoin but they're probably giving them, you know, a nice chunk of profit to take a product that they were burning off anyway. So again, this is technology that that can help fight climate change. Y'all know climate change the big that's the big buzzword going around right now and the climate uh catastrophe that we're in right now. So you tell me the leaders of the world are saying this technology can fight that. And I'm going to be scared of, you know, some some common sense regulation that's actually really needed. But again, as far as an investor's per perspective, of course, of course, this is going to hurt. Of course, this is going to hurt the markets. Retails are, retail is going to overreact and big traders are going to just see the sediment and go ahead and sell. So in the short term, guys, this is bad. But in the long term, this technology is the future, guys. Anyway, I'm Classic Kev. Made this far in the video. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. I'm out. Peace.